Hello, this is Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art, and I'm here to show you a fun new project uh, using Hershey Nuggets. We're going to make adorable little mailboxes for Valentine's Day. You could use these for um, your school, um, for your kids to bring to school for their classmates. You could bring them to work for your coworkers, uh, or just hand them out to strangers at the grocery store. They're so stinking cute and easy to make. So I was using up some old DSP for this. Um, you don't need to buy anything, you probably have everything you need, but I'll show you what I'm using for my projects. So here is the little mailbox. Isn't that so cute? You can see me, right? Okay. Just checking to make sure my video is going. Just a minute. They so cute though. I put a little heart at the top of the flag. Hopefully it's focusing on me. And um, that is from the Dog Builder Punch. So we get the little Hershey Nuggets in there. I got a big bag of a variety of flavors. So I just matched up two that matched and stuck them in the inside there. And I'll show you how to make them with the measurements and everything. We will go down and let's get to stamping. Let me turn you around. One moment. If you get motion sickness, I'm sorry. Close your eyes for just a minute. Turn this around this way. Oh, I got my cord in the way. Just a moment. I got the measurements there on my sticky note. Okay, let's scoot this a little closer to me. Okay, so here's a couple of the patterns from a pack of paper probably a couple years ago now. And um, I'm going to be using another one from last year's Valentine's paper. This was recently in the um, clearance rack, and this was a really nice pattern. I want to go for smaller patterns for these. I think that will work a little bit better. Nothing too big and busy. This is a little busy, but I think it's small enough that it works. So these were all from one paper pack. And um, we're going to do a couple of these. And I think let's play around with some of these hydrangea patterns too. So I think this purple will work really well. And maybe this um, Rococo Rose one too. So first I have a few already cut, so I'm going to put those together real quick and then we'll make some out of those bigger pieces. So here's a couple of the patterns that I just showed you. This is from that one that was just in the clearance rack. And here are a couple of the ones that I used up here. Let's see, these are that one. This one's really old. I think I got it at a yard sale. But it is Stampin' Up! Colors and I think I can use real red with that. This one was from a while ago too. So I just had some stuff in my stash that I think will work really well with these. So we'll just put a few together. I'm curious to see what this heart one will look like. And then the other side of it was this nice stripe and I want to see what that looks like too. Let's put those together. These are using real red and the base here is one inch wide by three and five eighths long. And I scored at one and one eighth on each side. And then I rounded all four corners using my corner rounder right here. And then the wrap piece is one and three eighths by four and a half. And I did score it at three quarters of an inch on, on this one side, just to give me a start. Um, that's gonna be starting at the bottom here and wrapping around. So let's get these out of the way for a second. So I've got this one piece and I scored it on this side. That means I'm folding, that's the outside piece. So I'm gonna take my giant bag of Hershey Nuggets. This is an assortment. So I'm just gonna find two that match here. Okay, so how about these silver milk chocolate ones. I'm going to take my 
there it is, my Stamp and Seal Plus, which is a little bit stronger adhesive, and just make a little mark at the bottom here. And stick on my first Hershey Nugget lightly, so in case I need to readjust it, I'm gonna press it down because it's right in the middle there. And then I'm gonna take my Seal Plus again and run it right on along the top, uh, along the topmost part of the ridge so that it catches the flat part of this. It's a little bit hard to stick because this one is round and this one is flat, but this is wide enough, I think, that it should be fine and it will be enclosed in the wrap that goes around this way, so it should be fine. So once you have those two done, I'm gonna have my opening on this side and close this side. So I'm gonna put a glue dot right in the middle here so that it catches on the part of the top one that sticks out here. The, um, these are a little bit tapered as they go up, parallelogrammy, as I would might say. So I'm gonna take this glue dot and stick it in the middle of this side. And you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave this side open because I think that's cute. So I'm gonna stick it here and press it really firm. It doesn't, the glue dots don't like to stick to this foil very well, so I'm gonna press it pretty good. And then I'm gonna take one of my wraps, and I think I'm gonna use this pattern. So I'm gonna flip it over and put a little bit of Seal Plus here near the end so that when I turn it over, I can jut the bent part, the fold, up against the edge here, and then stick it down. Now, I'm gonna take this and curve it around. I kinda wanna have this tucked in so it holds the shape here. And then once it's nice and tight along the edge there, I'm going to fold it here so that it's straight. Once I've got my fold, I'm gonna undo it again just a little bit so I can get my seal plus on there. And then we'll close it up. Slow enough to get it straight. Ugh, isn't that cute? Super quick, I, I can rock out a bunch of these. I think I'm gonna be bringing these to the gift shop in my town where I've got some things for sale, so. Um, since I did this part in real red, I'm going to do the little stick in real red. And I was just looking at these in real mailboxes. Those are attached at the front, aren't they? They bend backwards. Let's see what it looks like at the front. I think I did that funny. So I cut these little sticks. I just had a strip of one inch and then I um, just cut a whole bunch of them at a quarter of an inch. So um, did those all at once. Got a bunch of those, and then I punched out a bunch of little mini hearts using this dog builder punch. It has a really nice little heart. If you have a mini punch that has a heart, that would work perfect. So you don't have to have this, but it's nice and handy, and it's so cute because it's got a dog. We're not using the dog today. All right, so I got my little stick. I'm gonna put a glue dot on the end and stick it in the front this time. Next one, let's put in the middle. We'll have to see which one we like the best. Perfect. Oops, so sorry. Don't have to have the... Didn't mute myself. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. And future viewers of Not Live Broadcast. <laughs> put this little heart at the top here. Oops. If I can. Isn't that cute? It's done. We're all done. So let's make a few more since they're so quick to put together. Oh, I like that pattern. That's cute. Okay, so we got that one. Let's do this one. And I didn't round any more corners, but I did cut a few of these. So I scored these already at the one and one eighth on each side. And now I just need to round my corners. There we go. Get 
get rid of my scraps, throw them on the floor like a crazy person. All right, we got this. Let's do, let's do these extra creamy milk chocolate with toffee and almonds. What? How have I not eaten this whole bag yet? <laughs> What's your favorite kind of chocolate candy? Anyone that's watching can make a comment at any time. So I'll put this one in the middle lightly at first to make sure that it's even here. And then, oops, stick it down. Give it a good run on the top here again. Stick that one down. Glue dot on this side. So this whole project takes two little runs of now, four little runs of this and three glue dots. Nice and inexpensive. Okay, we've got this. We're gonna do the heart one this time. I cut it so that the pattern, this is a directional. I would prefer to use non-directional paper, but I thought if I had it going this way, you wouldn't have any upside down hearts, you know? If we did it going this way, you'd have it right side up on this side, but upside down on the other side. So I did it so that the pattern was right facing on the long side. Okay, so I'll do this. And put my fold right up against the edge there since that doesn't have any glue on it. I can kind of maneuver it a little bit until I have it down. Okay, good, and I did it right. So it's right facing if I look at the open side. <laughs> and so we just curve that around. And make a crease. Undo it so we can get some seal plus. I'd love to see anybody's creations. If you're watching on YouTube, you can pop over to my Facebook channel and um, make a comment below this video. Or if you're watching on Facebook, you already know where I am. <laughs> so here we go. Ah, oh, that's cute. These are really cute, you guys. So we got our little stick. Again, this is one inch by one and a quarter. Stuck on by a glue dot. And let's do it in the middle and see how that looks. You guys will have to tell me what you think looks better. We got it at the back, we got it at the front, and we got it in the middle. Let's put the little heart on. I'm probably being too picky, but I want them all to look good. Okay, so we got our little heart. I don't know, which one do you like the best? I think I like it at the back the least. So it's either at the front or in the middle. Maybe at the front. That's the most official, right? I don't know. What do you think? Make a comment. Okay, so we got these three. These are, th those are cute. Let's do, let's do one of these arrow ones. So this is using real red. And we'll do the corners. And let's do milk chocolate with almonds. Press down. Do the top. I actually ordered some new paper from the new mini catalog that has foil. It's like different patterns with foil on it. And it looks like it's gonna be really cute. And I, I really specifically ordered it so I could make these little nugget mailboxes. But it's not here yet. It will get here on Wednesday. So I will be taking pictures of the mailboxes that I make. <laughs> using that pretty foil. It's the new, I got it. I'll get a picture of it in a minute. So, okay, we'll start this one. 
but yeah, you can really just use up what stash you got. Jennifer, you like it in the front too? Yeah, I think I do. I think I like it there. That's like the most official. Okay, right here, close this up. You see this um, tape runner has little sections and sometimes one of them will go off the edge. I'll just fold that back on itself and then that won't show. It's nice that it kind of rips off at little sections, but sometimes you get a little bit extra that you didn't want. No biggie if you notice it in time. Lined up, cuteness. We'll get a little stick. In the front, let's do it in the front. My glue dot's a little bit too wide. It's like almost the perfect size here. And then we got a little heart. The color that I used here is a retired in color. Lovely lipstick, I think, was matching this paper right here, in case you're wondering. But I, most of the paper I picked matches real red, so I could just crank out a whole bunch of the real red bases and hearts and little sticks that helps me. I, I'll have a lot of different patterns, but a lot of them will just match the red there. Oh, it's cute. Let's try a purple one. I'm curious what this hydrangea paper will look like. So I'm gonna bring in my trimmer. I can move some of my other junk around. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so we need a purple base. This is um, gorgeous grape, I think. One inch by three and five eighths. So I'm just gonna cut this at one inch. And then go to three and five eighths. That's right here. And then score at one and an eighth on each side. So that's still on this side. So I'm just gonna do that so that it's even right there. Okay, so now we just need to round those corners. And then we'll start cutting this one. This was the wrap, one and three eighths by four and a half. We need to do four and a half this way because it's not four and a half this way. So I will cut this way at one and three eighths. Right there. Sometimes you gotta do math while you're paper crafting, right? <laughs> Okay, so here is our wrap, and I'm gonna score it at three quarters on the one end just to help me get the bottom started. So that is ready. Oh my goodness, I think this one's gonna be cute. Okay, that's ready. Let's corner around this one. Folding away from my folds. Let's see, do we have a flavor we didn't do yet? Oh yeah, special dark. This is the one with the red stripe in the middle. Maybe we don't wanna do red. I've got so many red papers. I'm gonna save the red stripe ones to match the reds. So let's do another silver one. Milk chocolate. I recently got some candy that I'll be making packages for it and it was creme brulee flavor so I'm like so excited I think it's a Ghirardelli so I'm excited to open that package and number one make a make something out of you know make a package for it but number two to eat it <laughs> that sounds really good my husband can make creme brulee from scratch oh it's amazing we went to a fancy restaurant once and I ordered the creme brulee thinking oh man if if my husband's creme brulee is really good, this one's going to be super good. My husband's was better, you guys. It's really good. He's a good cook. I'm really lucky. Okay, let's turn this over. Give it a little fold there. Okay, 
folding around the edge. Oh, look how cute it is. Give it a crease. Okay, one to be straight there. Oh my goodness, look at it. That's really cute. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't do little strips for this. Oh, you know what? See, we had this little piece that was one inch to cut off. That's what I was using for the little sticks. That's why they ended up being one inch tall, by the way. So I was using up my scraps. So all we gotta do, and you notice there's no quarter inch mark on here. This is the older trimmer. I've got the new one that's coming in the mail. But if you just go to the end of, where was it? Let's look here. Huh. I think it's the end of this gray part. Yeah. So this is exactly a quarter an inch right there. I'm not sure on the new one, we'll have to play with it. So there we go. And then I will have to get a little heart too, using the dog punch. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got our glue dots. So you can see if you've got all the materials already cut and punched and everything, putting them together goes a little bit faster. But they do come together pretty fast. Ah, <laughs> that's so cute. So that's one of our papers that you can still get now that's called the hydrangea something or other. Pretty hydrangeas, I'm not sure what that one's called, but it is in the new mini. Now let's do this Rococo Rose version too. So I'm gonna cut a strip and then I'll turn you loose to play with your own paper. Oh look, we can play with this side too. I gotta decide which way I wanna cut it so I can use both sides while I cut the one. Do I want the stripes going this way or this way? I think I want them going this way, which means that I would have to cut this width at the one and three eighths. Yeah, so I'll cut it like this. It takes some brain power, right? Hopefully I'm doing that right. Yeah, I think I am. Aren't I? <laughs> Hi, Danielle. Okay, so we want four and a half. And we're gonna do one of these two. Four and a half. And then score at three quarters of an inch. I'm sorry, I'm on, a, I'm on a live video. <laughs> All right, so I've got those, and let me just find, there it is, my paper. And we need the base at one inch by three and five eighths, so I'll just cut it at... Oh, how long is this? <gasps> nope. Well, I can maybe get one out of there. I'm not going to risk it. I'll do one inch this way. One inch by three and five eighths. No, oh, now the dog's whining. He heard the hubby come in and go out. <laughs> I'll just cut two. I don't need two right now, but since I'm there, I'm cutting two. Okay, oh, we need to score it. So score at one and one eighth. I'm gonna score at this side. Right there. And right there. And since this is out, I'm just gonna do this one too. 
There's my new dog toes clinking in the kitchen. All right, and we're gonna cut one of these. <laughs> so one inch by three and five eighths. Put all those to the side. Stuff's throwing on the floor. That's okay. One and one eighth. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, so we've got our wrappy bits. We only need two of these. Now we just need to round those corners. Okay, we'll just do these two. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there, guys. So there's one. Our dog's name is Jackson. We just got him like the day before uh, Christmas Eve. Just so happened to be that way, which was fun. Gave the kids a nice surprise. They've been wanting a dog since our other dog passed away. He lived a nice long life though. Okay, so we've got this gold one that will look nice with, let's put the gold one with this. It's got a little bit of yellow in it. And we'll do a silver with this one. Okay. Toss out some more candy here. I like silver and purple together. You guys, it's dangerous with all this chocolate on my counter. <laughs> We need a glue dot on this side. And again, it's hitting right at this little edge right here that sticks out. That center mark just kind of hits it just right. We'll give this a bend. Seal plus. Give this a fold. Oops, is that straight? That's cute. I like this one better though. This one's a little bit boring. It's still cute. It's still cute. Okay, we need a little heart piece. And, ooh, where did that paper go? We're gonna need a heart piece from this one too. And one little strip. Gotta bring the trimmer in one last time. Just for this teensy little stick. Getting a little bit of fuzz on there. Oops, the mailbox is in the way. Okay. I think we got it. All right, we got all the little pieces, right? Oh, where'd my purple stick go? Did I do a purple stick? Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. And we liked it at the front, so we're gonna put it in the front. Put this on the top. I'm still in the picture, right? Yep. Yeah, that one's cute. I like this one better. All right, let's do this one real quick and then I'll be done. I'll be posting these dimensions on my blog too, delightofmyart.com and um, putting this video on YouTube. Because I think this is a good timeless one because you don't need any specific kind of 
stamp set or paper or anything, you can really just whip these out with whatever you got on hand. Oh, I got a kitty growling at the dog over here. Uh-oh, got some hissing going on. <laughs> the dog's still new to the kitties, but they've been okay. The cats, I've got three cats. They stay upstairs, kind of. We got a little baby gate so that they have a safe place to hide. So if she's down here, it's her fault. <laughs> I think she's over there by the window that faces the chicken coop. All the animals like to watch the chickens outside. It's really funny. Okay, dog. Jackson. I like his name, Jackson, but every time I say his name, I want to sing, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> it's always stuck in my head. I can't help it. We're constantly singing it. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. Ooh. I am for real. <laughs> it is a good name. <laughs> oh, I like that one too. Those look really nice. The flowery ones. Put this on the glue dot. We're almost done, guys. Oh, no, I dropped my heart. Oh, it's landed on my lap. Well, that's good. Again, this color is Rococo Rose. It's kind of a dusty pink, which is kind of fun. This is a, one of our in colors. I think it's going to be leaving at the end of June. So, so stinking cute. Okay, so which one's your favorite? Play that game. I've got this old paper here. I like this one with the arrows on it. But I really like this purple one. That looks really cute. The little flowery ones. The stripey one looks kind of like a candy cane almost. That would be a really good Christmas one, right? It's got hearts on the inside. You can kind of see them, right? Peeking out. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.